which features of the US multifamily market do you think are most likely to be replicated in the UK? What I envision, and it's very early on in the whole development of the sector, is that the UK will develop kind of their own unique take on, on the sector. Um, but I think a lot of the things from the US will, will translate, things like customer service and amenities and, and uh, some of the design attributes of the apartments. When it comes to amenities, which of the amenities that you see in the US do you think are going to translate best over here? The ones that have kind of the direct linkage, I would say the gym is the first one whenever I'm talking to clients about uh, developing a build rent scheme. Uh, it seems like we always start with the gym, and so I think that's just uh, absolutely going to translate. Um, from there we get into things like yoga rooms and rooftop decks and, uh, and uh, pet areas. British people love their pets. To what extent do you think we're going to see pet facilities being replicated over here in UK Build to Rent? So that's one of the areas of apartment operations that generates a lot of additional income, which doesn't get a lot of uh, discussion. But things like parking is not more of an obvious one, but things like pet rent and pet fees and pet charges and security deposits just for pets. Um, if you take uh, things like that and all the other kind of ancillary, what we call ancillary income, that can be an additional 5 to 10% of top line revenue. So it's quite significant and it's actually a very high margin revenue because most of that goes right to the bottom line. And what do you think the importance of data and information is going to be? In the U.S., again, we've been doing this for decades and there are data firms that collect and analyze and produce data that, uh, that operators and developers can tap into. Um, you know, here, where do you, where do you start? <laughs> where you've only got, you know, a handful of buildings up and running and for true, for true build to rent. Um, so I think it's one of these things that will just have to evolve slowly and uh, we'll be building up that, that information over time.